All right, let's start the comic. Look at this muscle man standing in front of the flag. Hell, he's the flag with abs. And, uh, <clears throat> All right, Comic Comics, Comics, gave us this jam over here. It's packed with another story and some other stuff, but really I don't really care about that, so let's just review this comic. All right, page one. Canuck decides to walk through a crowd all heroic-like, and uh, they have some mixed reactions to him. Basically how I have mixed reaction to this comic. Hey fella, you forgot to take off your jammies. Far out. That's Canada's superhero, dummy. Good heavens. Oh jeez, look at that priest, he's so surprised. Good heavens. Mother of God. This comic promises more than just a stellar story. And heart class. Yay. Remember, this is a collector's item. Man, this pretentious little comic's already saying it's a collector's item. Actually, I did buy it at Fan Expo for 15 bucks, so I guess they were right. Dang. So we start our story at a technician chilling at this alert station up north. Man, I got two months of this to go. Oh, cliche, cliche. This guy's probably gonna die later. It's as bad as a cop saying he was two days till retirement. Well, since he's only two months till retirement, he decides to take a nice whiz on those expensive computers. Then, he explodes. <laughs> Dude, I totally called it. Some military types confirm that he's been hit, and they start to worry and scramble. Lead guy gets a call from the Prime Minister and the US President. Both Canadian and US fighters are on their way, and the terrorists make their threats. Hear this! Call off the approaching fighters, or face total thermo destruction. We will now take over the control of Canada. But don't worry, two costume figures are on their way as the terrorists start speaking some crap. You are wise to call back your air Craft. Now listen carefully to your new leaders. Oh, I forgot to mention, this comic is based in the future of 1999 according to some guys from 1975, so Canada is apparently the most important country in the world. This might be because of the resources, but <laughs> no matter. Lots of terrorists be hating on the true North strong and free. These two super agents arrive at the HQ to be given order. Uh, so Captain Canuck and his uh, sidekick head into a plane and start heading their way to the demolished station. Blue guy is named Blue Fox now. Guess that explains the blue costume. <laughs> I love these secret agents. This random gunman knows where our heroes are going and decides to help them. Utak leaves our two heroes there and Captain Canuck starts to wonder why this base in particular. But then Kong! Kong? I've never heard that before. That kind of sounds weird. Canuck is knocked out by Blue Fox and awakens to the traitor and his superior. He's regaining consciousness. Now I will interrogate him. There is time for that later. We will now inform their government that we have Canuck. Captain Canuck finds himself surrounded by the villain as he declares his plan, of course. <laughs> Nuclear missiles are headed to locations around the country. The terrorists reveal themselves as being agents for a communist country. Well, remember these are the 1970s, so it's not so PC. And I guess the whole communism thing would explain why Lenin is their leader. <laughs> Captain Canuck quickly makes his case for capitalism and starts knocking out some commies. Rather awkwardly, he takes hold of the commander. Crazed Blue Fox leaps for the missile controls. I'll let you dogs taste your missiles first, Canuck. Canuck shoots Blue Fox in the back, but his corpse pulls the detonator anyway. Dear God, help us. Those missiles are aimed at the Prairie Provinces. Oh, the Prairie Provinces. Damn. The commander says that there's no way to stop the missiles, and he starts aiming at Captain Canuck. Canuck, with his quick mind, though, punches through to the outside. The commander follows and takes aim, but is shot by Utok who really deserves his own comic. Canuck is able to alert the CISO, and they dismantle the missiles. Oh, and uh, apparently God helped. Yeah, I guess. So the priest was there all along. 